All right, I'm back. And it's amazing that we're actually still inside the dreamscape. Not another one. Thank you so much, Black Swan. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. However, before that, it's essential to know that... This place is the rift between dream and reality. A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Wait, we're in Enna's dream all along? Do you remember Sunday's ambitious plan? He intended to harness the power of the Stellaron, the collective will of over 100,000 Oak family members, and the desires of everyone in Penacone to usurp the harmony and restore the order. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected by the Stellaron, that strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world, allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. Damn. And that included a lot of memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality. And reality became an illusion. People think they are awake, but their spirits have long since stepped into the Temple of Order. This is what makes Anna's dream so powerful. In this paradise governed by the Order, everyone indulges in their delightful dreams and lives happily ever after. I believe what you experienced in the sweet dream, except for that flaw, was real. Only in this way could you reach the destination, lifting the crisis in Penacone and embarking on your next trailblazing expedition. If it wasn't for Acheron's plan, we might have been trapped in this dream forever. Fortunately, while the path of the Order governs all things, it can't affect the Nihility. I came to realize this when the Dream Master tried to expel me at any cost. This is also why you felt a sense of peculiarity when traveling with her. Well, I'm not as fortunate as she is. Even if I'm a memo keeper, I was still influenced by the power of the Order and fell into hallucinations. So only the Hillary emanators are on the psyche? However, thanks to your memories, now we still have a chance to turn the tide. For mortals, even if they possess the great power of a path, they can't create a flawless world like gods do. That's why there was a flaw in your dream. In other words, once you have realized the world is not real, you'll have a chance to break free from the dream. The flaw in your dream lies within Misha, who could have never appeared in reality. When I turned the pages of your memories, I realized that I was in an illusion, too. Now Sunday has usurped the power of the Harmonious Choir through the Charmony Festival. As Donna has thus fallen into Anna's dream, transforming everyone equally into the notes of the Eon. 
Failure doesn't mean weakness. Only the strong can gather the will to resist the order and try to break free. We still have a chance, though. To make it happen. Please, Black Swan. Guide us to those with a strong will. All right. Please come with me. These people are... They're the ones who accept Enna's dream and indulge in their happy illusions. We have no means to wake them up now. Not even your clockwork will do the trick. Oh, yeah, I see. However, there are still other things we can do. Let's keep going. I'll get out of here. I'm a bit confused. I think I have to go the other way. Uh... says Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will, and it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. I woke up for the same reason as all of you. In the dream, I experienced something that could never occur in reality. Are we going to look it up in a cage? I want to see it fly freely in the sky. Oh, wait, this is the memory. Without us, this bird would be too fragile to survive on its own. Do you want it to die? No, but... <sighs> then let's take care of it together until it can return to the sky. Uh, uh huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. Even if they may crash on the ground one day, they shouldn't be trapped in a cage. <laughs> Birds belong to the sky. Wait, this is different, so actually. So we should help them return there, right? So this is the real memory. The illusion was so impossibly blissful that I realized it was just a dream. And this is our final hope. Anna's dream is founded upon the Harmonious Choir. Namely, everyone shared wishes. It will only materialize once the aspirations of all beings in Penacone merge as one. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, we must make everyone in Penacone want to wake up. Now comes the tricky part. How do we do it? Huh, I'm gonna go with three. <laughs> you want to go back? Unfortunately, human consciousness always gravitates toward reality. Now that you've seen the flaw in the dream, there is no turning back. 
humans yearning for sweet illusions, so borders, wait, and obsession, leading them to subconsciously resist the harsh reality. Therefore, I carefully selected a moment where he was completely unguarded, guiding him to uncover the truth himself to make him regain his consciousness. However, to wake up everyone in Panacone and get them to share the same determination, that would be nearly impossible. Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an Eon. How do you resurrect an Eon is my real question. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. This is a critical moment for the whole universe. Who cares about some dumb number? <laughs> Thanks to Black Swan. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And thanks to the Memo Keepers and Penacone too. I believe your partners have also awakened from their dreams. I mean, there's more memo keepers now? This is the first step of our plan. With the assistance from the Garden of Recollection, those who possess a strong will, like you, will gradually awaken from the dream. These free wills are the discord that will sway Anna's dream. However, awakening a mere handful of individuals is insignificant compared to the vast number of people immersed in the dream. We must find other ways to awaken the free will of millions of people within a short period of time. If breaking through from the inside proves challenging, we can seek assistance from the outside. We've long been aware of a potential solution. As Donna is a galaxy known for its abundant memoria and the remarkable phenomenon known as Synesthesia Dreamscape. When people first enter this place, they often find themselves and others sharing a collective dream. At this very moment, there is only one dream encompassing the entire Asdana system. So, you mean, if we can attract a large number of outsiders to this system, their free will would intertwine with this dream and shake it to its core? However, those outsiders might also succumb to the dream and become the foundation of the Order instead. The real challenge is, how can we gather a huge number of people as determined as you within a short period of time? Huh. Looks like the JDAP kiss of allying oath will be the only solution. No. No need for that. Keep your once in a lifetime treasure. We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. Y you want thousands of people with unwavering free will? <laughs> That's easy. You want to call the Galaxy Rangers? Just leave it to us, Galaxy Rangers. You can gather Galaxy Rangers? <laughs> Outsiders may see Galaxy Rangers as elusive and disconnected individuals, and actually, they're right. And that's why we have a tacit understanding among us. Do you know what it is, Acheron? A blip? It's the relic I return to you. Exactly. Its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a Galaxy Ranger. And that it can only fulfill its purpose when returned to its rightful owner. Because it's a burial artifact. Worthy only of a hero who has served the Galaxy Rangers with honor. When its light illuminates the universe, it means the fall of a hero, and in the direction it falls, countless meteors will streak across the sky. Those meteors are galaxy rangers, coming from all corners of the cosmos, driven by a shared purpose, without questioning the cause or counting the cost, because we abide by a common principle. The shooting stars of the hunt only descend on the longest night. And with them comes the dawn. We've stayed silent for far too long. Now, 
It's time to remind all the cowards, oppressors, and villains of the universe of our presence. I'll be the one to ignite the first spark. Once the dreamscape is swayed, I'll complete the second step. I'll fine-tune the slumbering souls with the Song of the Harmony, interrupting them with the discord of Trailblaze, and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong, and others are born weak. If the Trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the Harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. Only the people of Penacony themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. Their path of happiness should be forged by themselves. While I may not be a nameless, I'm willing to instill courage in all those who need it. This includes my brother as well. Anna's dream is too cruel for him and everyone else. Your plan sounds well conceived, but still, it appears somewhat idealistic and romantic. The flaws rooted in human nature can't be eradicated overnight. Do you believe these efforts alone are enough to convince everyone to choose the right path? I agree with you, Black Swan. That's why the most critical aspect of this plan is not to convince everyone to choose the right path, but to inspire them to save themselves. So, you're the key in the end, I assume? The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. <sighs> now that our roles are assigned, Let's get to our battlefield and pose a grand finale. I really want to spin for him. May I have a moment alone with you? There's one more thing I need to explain to you. This grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. Just as it marked the beginning of all the stories in Penacony. Only by reflecting on our steps can we remember the path we should be walking on, and the companions who have walked alongside us. There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream, and find the key to breaking free from the dream. All because of one person's unwavering dedication. What, Firefly? Firefly. She awakened from the dream ahead of others, discovered the Express amidst the stars, and brought us valuable information about the remnants of the Order. She may have been aided by the script, and it came at a cost. As you know, Firefly is a stowaway who entered the dreamscape in a different way from ours. Without the dream pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in one way. A real death. Damn. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what. But our resolve should match that of that courageous lady. Are you ready? Very well. Now, please close your eyes. I just gotta close my eyes really so. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, team must include Akron. Story one might be more progressed than mine. Oh wait. I need to see who's better. I can't check. The story one might be a bit better than mine. Quick line up. Uh honestly. Genie one and wealth. Story one might be more progressed than mine because I have this at level seven for its ultimate or eight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the story one because I know it's, it's gonna be more progressed than mine. Um. Okay, let me pause real quick. I know it. Okay. I got the team prepared. I'm going to pick this up in another video because I might run out of time. So, wish me luck. And let's get started.